here with Michael Basha in his studio. And Michael, I have never seen instruments or art like this before. It's a little different. It sure is. So explain to me, are you a sculptor? Are you a musician? What's going on here? Um, I, I do both. I, I didn't want to give up sculpture and didn't want to give up music. So I found ways to synthesize uh, the two art forms and mm. make sound sculptures. Music. Sound sculptures. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, since uh, mid-70s, I, I really started working on it. But it was the mid-80s that I really, really went full bore and, and uh, started creating pieces that I could then tour with. That you could, so in addition to playing here in Dayton, where else do you play? Uh, we've played all over performing arts centers um, uh, and colleges all over the country and uh, Providence, Rhode Island International Sculpture Center, Wausau, Wisconsin, um, uh, Beloit College, uh, Central College in Pella, Iowa, uh, the Main Street Arts Festival in San Antonio, Texas, Sarajevo, Bosnia, uh, wow. with so the you're a man over in there. demand. Well, I, Wonderful. you can always use more work. <laughs> well, you're all over the world playing your sound sculptures, but you're based here in Dayton, Ohio, right. and your studio, I hear, actually has a history of its own. Yeah, this was the, uh, this building was called the Davis Sewing Machine Company, and it was owned by the Huffman Manufacturing Company, built in the uh, late uh, 19th century, and um, um, they made the uh, sewing machines, but then they started making bicycles and made the Dayton bicycle, the Davis bicycle, and eventually it became uh, Huffy bicycles. Very cool, and, and everything is unusual. It has its own flavor, and I'm gonna call you out here. I see the top of a two liter here. You use some uh, found materials, don't I you? I do, I do. Um, this uh, actually turned into a resonator uh, for this instrument here called the, the Globo. Um, the Globo. The Globo, and uh, Take a, a rod and do. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that is amazing for both the eye and the ear. That's no, not your garden variety. Uh, instrument. Not so much. Tell me, how did you put this together? What are these materials? Uh, this is a combination. This is a stainless steel bowl. Um, and these are found uh, art, arts that I, I don't know really what they were part of originally, but uh, I modified, um, modified them in such a way as to be able to con connect them to the resonator and then use piano wire. And then th this is just decorative. We put a glow stick in here when we're doing the concert, actually. No, well, that, that's um, the artist side of yeah, you coming out. Yeah. And I, I invented this instrument to, uh, to go along with um, uh, a suite of music that we wrote for uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, Falling Water, the house uh, built on the waterfall. And I wanted something that kind of captured that sense of being in and out of balance uh, um, when you walk out on those terraces there and look over the falls. So. Nice. So you do uh, both performances and commission pieces. Yeah, we uh, we've got CDs, and we've uh, my wife Sandy and I have done uh, um, a number of uh, film scores uh, for plant. Very nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Now I'm looking at all these different instruments, and it, these things look completely different from one another. Can mm -hmm. you can you let me know how this one's going to sound? Yeah, these are giant kalimbas here. These are although they're not played with thumbs or fingers. Um, um, like the traditional African ones. These I, I designed to be played with mallets, okay. and they're made with uh, sheet metal and uh, carbon steel uh, bars. And there's a number of different playing techniques that we, we use with these, but um, I'll give you a little example here. All right.
different mallets will give you a different effect. This, uh, it's got a little uh, harder strike, a little more um, distinguished tone. this rod. Oh, here it is. You can use a rod and to get a whole other kind of an effect. Green Gene Krupa story. He <laughs> dropped the stick. Oh no, he's back on the stuff. Uh, All right. Sorry. <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. It sounds beautiful. These sound sculptures, they're just so inspirational. I, I was ready to move with you there. Yeah, good. Well, you could have joined me on this, and you, if you'd like to play one along with me, you're welcome to. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, why don't you play us out, okay. and I'll get my groove on. While okay, do let's so. do it that way. All right. Okay, this is. Uh, the Monza Thor here, and I'll play this a couple of different ways. <laughs> <laughs> 